Yo guys, welcome back and today we are going to be going over Deji's former coach quote unquote exposing him um, for his lack of work ethic but also some positives. So make sure to like, sub, and comment and let's get into the video. So, um, there was a podcast by, and I can't believe <clears throat> this has gotten so interconnected now, but the guy that Adam Sala is fighting next who's some, like, Dubai guy or something. Like, I, I don't even know. This guy just has a podcast with, like, 70 subscribers. Sorry, I, I messed up my camera. And also, this right there is a pillow because apparently Canon cameras can't be on hard surfaces. Anyways, the guy interviewed him, and this was some interesting tidbits that um, I found. Play the clip. I said, listen. I said, listen, mate. I said, if you train, if you train with me, you train properly or you don't train at all. And that was how it was with me and him. And I never worked with him in the second fight. I never got the opportunity. I never got invited back to the team. And I think that says a lot for the what the shape and the the, um, the shape and the size he come in. You know, I'm professional. So it is interesting that this guy who I who was actually in Deji's first uh, camp, he was the. Um, not the head trainer, I don't think, but he was some form of a trainer. And when he and Deji met up, he basically was like, if we're going to train, we're going to train the hard way. And, and hearing this guy's story, um, I guess he had a brain bleed and he was a professional boxer. And I have a lot of respect for this guy. He definitely seems to know the sport of boxing and wanting to not be a yes man, but be a hard hitting kind of reality guy. Kind of like the white version of Vidal. Yeah, I think that, you know... I wonder why Deji didn't bring this guy back, and I, I, I think he's training Deji again. I hope he is, because he definitely seems to be someone that would push Deji and not baby him. Um, or he might not be, so I don't know. But it is interesting that Deji didn't bring him back for the second camp, and maybe that's because he knew that Vic in his boxing gym um, would let Deji slack off and not push him the way he wanted to, and kind of be hype men, I'm happy to be here kind of people. Um, but clearly he paid the price for that. Hard when he trained with me. When he trained hard, when he was with me, I mean, he, he had no other option. I was, I said, listen, I'll walk away from you. I don't need you, Dej. You don't need me. I don't need you. Swim. We'll just we'll still be friends, but we'll just part ways, yeah? Anyway, so when he was with me, he trained hard. But then when he used to go away from the gym, behind closed doors, I didn't, I was telling him, Dej, we put a five, six K run in today, mate, tonight, mate. And he said, yeah, coach, yeah, coach. But he, he wasn't doing all that. You could see the shape on the scales, but, but definitely, like, Mentally, I think I helped him in the mental side of it, where I made him believe, I made him believe in there, I made Deji believe in there, that he, he was going to smash this Jay. And again, this is just another instance of Deji not taking the initiative and honestly not training hard enough. And this is stuff that we, we've known, but just to hear it from his coach and the specifics of what Deji would do, and it is interesting that Deji would train and work hard with him, but then on his own, he wouldn't. But again, I just think that's a sign of a lazy work ethic and an unmotivated fighter. Help Deji with his mental state and making sure that he believed in himself. And it is interesting that he was the one that threw in the towel. Um, I don't know if that's in the clip, but in the interview, um, at some point, he says that he was the one that threw in the towel. Um, and that's interesting because that would have meant if Vic and his team were there, they wouldn't have thrown in the towel, which... It's just showing me how much of a terrible team Deji had, and I can't believe he would continue to go on with them. But I think that, again, that Vic's team and, and, and Vic himself were a perfect pair for Deji, or at least Deji saw that because he knew that he could, quote-unquote, be looking like he was training, but he really was working with guys that were willing to slack off and be buddies with him. He didn't want it enough. Simple, simple as that. He didn't want it enough. He didn't believe how big an event was going to be, you know, like... I kept telling him, Dej, Dej, it's your reputation on the line, mate. It's your reputation on the line. And uh, listen, like I've said to the many, many times about this situation with Dej, I love Dej. I think he's, he thinks he's all right, he's, he's cool. But listen, you can lead a horse to water, you can't make the horse drinking. And that is the bottom line of when I train Dej. You can tell us to do this and that and this and that, but listen. Deji don't want to do something. Deji just won't do it. He runs with like a big, a big kid. He's a big, like naughty, naughty kid, you know. And uh... so him saying that Deji didn't want it enough, and that if you tell Deji to do something, he doesn't do it, and he's like a big naughty kid, which I love the British terminology. Um, is again, I think a sign of Deji's weak mentality and why 
I personally don't believe Deji should be a boxer, and I, I'm surprised he had this third fight because, honestly, to me, Deji doesn't seem to have the mentality of a fighter. You know, he doesn't seem to have that desire or that want with both the Vinny fight and the Jake fight. And so that's why, I, and after seeing his new physique, I think that mentality might have changed. But I'm still cautiously optimistic. And yes, I did say that I think Alex is going to lose now, and I stand by that. But again, I'm not saying that Alex can't win, because I think he can. And I think Alex just might have more of that heart and that will to go on and more of that fighter mentality. Because so much of boxing is like skills and knowing your craft. But also, it's about do I have, you know, how many punches are you willing to take? How far are you willing to go? And for Deji, he can't seem to take a lot of punches and he doesn't seem to want to go all the way. And that, if and if you have that as your mindset and, and, and as your skills, you're not going to succeed in boxing. And that's what happened with Deji. I don't know if he's training him currently, but just to clarify, what he is saying is what happened in the past, not what's happening now in the future. So we don't know if Deji's mentality, if this is how he's still doing things. He's just referring to things in Deji's past. So like, sub, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!